In this video, uh, I'm going to compare two sets of my uh, coil spring compressor. And we're going to talk about some factors uh, may be useful when you're buying your uh, set of the coil spring compressor. So my old set of the uh, coil spring compressor is a laser. I bought it from Halford and I couldn't remember the price when I bought it that many years ago uh, but the current price is uh, uh, 29.99 pounds and it says uh, its uh, working pressure is 1.1 kilogram so it's uh, quite uh, a good uh, quality uh, set of a coil spring compressor and this one is I just got it uh, uh, yesterday and uh, it's a uh, very uh, solid and uh, it's a uh, bigger so I'm going to uh, talk about this tool set so firstly the strength the working pressure of the rod so this set is the uh, laser and it says it's 1.1 kilogram so that's the pressure uh, you can have uh, 1.1 kilogram and for this one the new says and I think this if you compare them two it looks much stronger so it should be at least not less than that set even that the nowhere I can find how strong working pressure uh, it is but I think this is stronger than that set Uh, the colors so you can see and uh, this set is quite uh, around so it should be safely hold onto uh, the spring so it's quite round so this is the color for this set for this one this is a solid cast iron and also you got a safety pin so you can have this hold onto the spring and then push the pin in to hold the, the spring wire in that position so this just a safety measure and give you peace of mind and I do think this is also quite safe because the, the round so you can see it's going to hold the spring uh, quite well it won't get off but there is a possibility that things will slip if you're not doing it 180 80 degree both sides of the spring and it did happen to me I think it's a, normally won't come off but you still be careful if they're going to come together the two sides will come together and maybe if your hand in between that's going to be damaged the next thing to consider is the length of the rod so on this side this is the knot you're going to tighten uh, the compressor and most important uh, uh, lens is about the rod lens here so from the tightening head of a bolt to the rod end so that lens would be uh, one thing to consider and your car may have a longer spring some car may have a shorter spring and also uh, if you plan to use the uh, compressor when the spring in the installed position and you put them onto the spring so sometimes you may not have enough space for longer compressor you may use the shorter one but the longer one definitely is good for bigger spring longer spring so this is the lens uh, of the compressor The next factor to think about is the minimum opening of the two claws. So you can see this, this is about a nine centimeter. And this pair, this pair is about six centimeter. So you can see this pair can close compress spring further. And this will be three centimeter longer for the minimum inner distance of the two claws
The next thing to consider is the maximum distance between the two claws. So I make this uh, flat, and then we can measure the maximum length you can have. It's about 23 and a half centimeters for this set. And for this set, so for the Nielsen set, it is about 26 and a half, nearly 27 centimeters. So the maximum distance between the two claws is also very useful. So sometimes you, your spring could be longer and it could be shorter. And this is definitely for longer spring and this is for shorter. And also I mentioned sometimes that you, if you want to use the compressor uh, when the spring in, in its uh, installed position, uh, sometimes you may not have enough space for a very long compressor. There is a longer one, longer than this, and there is a, a short one. I think this is a tend to be a short one. So why uh, I have bought two sets of a, a coil spring compressor, and this laser one was my first uh, set of uh, coil spring compressor, and it worked very well. And I changed the coil spring uh, for my Ford car, KA Ford. This is a small car. There's no problem, and it worked very well. And now I'm trying to replace the spring for a BMW E46. And this spring is quite long, and also different diameters. You see, this is a smaller diameter, and a bigger, and a bigger, and then smaller. And it's quite long. If you say uh, this one, this rod, this is a quite short and you have to compress the spring very hard in order to uh, install on this rod because this, this struct, uh, when it's at rest, is not fully extended. It's only fully extended when you have a spring installed and release the tension. And I tried this set of the spring compressor at different positions but I couldn't compress the spring enough in order for me to put those uh, uh, the cups and everything on and uh, to tighten the nut. So that's why I bought another set and I hope maybe this set would be better because it's at least it's longer uh, and stronger can compress uh, much more because the minimum distance of the claws is much shorter uh, than that one. And if I count, and it may also helpful to use a two pair of the coil spring compressor uh, to compress the spring further. And one pair maybe just a compress the spring. The other pair I can uh, put this uh, the top uh, cup onto the spring and then compress it from here. So that's uh, another idea.